Five examples of human laterality. Number five. Handedness. This is our most familiar term, so it will be our starting point. Handedness refers to the hand that one prefers to use, regardless of performance, or the hand that performs faster or more precisely on manual tests. About 88.2% of people are right handed, with the left handers holding a margin of 8 to 15%. The rest are either ambivalent, neither hand showing dominance, or ambidextrous. Hand orientation is also shown to be developed in fetuses, most commonly determined by observing which hand is predominantly held close to the mouth. There are also reports of left handers drawing figures facing to the right. Number 4 Ocular Dominance People typically have a dominant eye, from which they prefer visual input. This preference is known as ocular dominance. It is somewhat corresponding to the laterality of the right or left hand, however the side of the dominant eye and the dominant hand do not always match. This is because both brain hemispheres control both eyes, but each one takes charge of a different half of the field of vision, and therefore a different half of both retinas. About two-thirds of the population is right eye dominant, and one-third left dominant, however, in some portions of the population neither eye is dominant. In normal binocular vision there is an effect of parallax, and therefore the dominant eye is the one that is primarily relied on for precise positional information, but this can change depending upon the direction of where the person's gaze is. Use a test such as this one to determine your dominant eye. Number 3. Facial Asymmetry Look at your face in the mirror. Pay close attention to your lips curving into smiles and smirks and see if you can tell which side is more expressive than the other. Faceness, or facial asymmetry, refers to the intensity with which emotion or information is conveyed by the right or left side of the face, known as hemiphysis. Like the eyes, each hemisphere controls a certain portion of the hemiface. Studies suggest that the left side of the face is more, likely to be, expressive of emotion, is more uninhibited and displays culture-specific cues, such as winking or wriggling your eyebrow. These are indicators of facial asymmetry. The right hemiface is noted to have a bias for displaying verbal information in contrast to emotions. Number 2. Ambidexterity Ambidexterity is the state of being equally adept in the use of both left and right appendages, such as hands. It is one of the most famous varieties of cross dominance. Being naturally ambidextrous is rare, moreover the degree of versatility with each hand is generally the qualitative factor in determining a person's ambidexterity. Among left-handers, it is increasingly common to find people with ambidextrous abilities who learned to use their non-dominant hand for asymmetrical tools designed for the right-handed. Number 1. Brain Lateralization The left hemisphere is responsible for analytical thought. Structure, rules, time, logic, mathematics, planning, words, speech, physical activity while the right side of the body are what the left hemisphere processes. The right hemisphere is more aesthetic, dealing with feelings, intuition, color, physical senses, relationships, awareness, rhythm, humor, the left side of the body, and motor skills. The left hemisphere has also been shown to mature faster than the right hemisphere. Note, for left-handers this information is reversed.